The Duke of Sussex looked smart in a tuxedo as he stepped out for a black tie reception on Wednesday night. Prince Harry, 34, arrived solo for the charity event at Kensington Palace, which was held to benefit England Rugby's Try for Change program. The Duchess of Sussex was not due to join her husband and Harry has previously attended Try for Change events alone. The father-to-be took part in a Q&A session and mingled with rugby players including Johnny Wilkinson and Lauren Stilaglio before the event, which was held at the Kensington Palace Pavilion. The prince looked happy as she fielded questions from the crowd during the Q&A, while him and England rugby co-captain Dylan Hartley discussed rugby and the various Try for Change projects. The rugby fan also spoke to England rugby head coach Eddie Jones and the England rugby union squad. Try for Change is an England rugby program using rugby union to try and improve the lives of disadvantaged people in England and across the world. They also work with sport relief. The Johnny Wilkinson Foundation is a charity which supports people with mental health concerns, something which is Harry's cares deeply about. Harry has always been a keen rugby fan and was pictured at the Six Nations England game at Twickenham Stadium last Sunday, where he cheered and sung the national anthem. The prince also looked delighted when England won with a 44-8 victory over France in their Six Nations match. In December 2016 Harry was announced as a patron of the RFU. The Queen, who had been the patron for 64 years handed over the privilege to Prince Harry.